Tool number one, breathing to reduce stress and anxiety. Breathing is something we do every day. However, to manage emotions, you need to be conscious of your breathing. So here is how you do that. I use lavender oil. You can get this at any health food store. I like this product now. You put a few drops in the palm of your hand. You rub your palms together. You make a tent over your nose and you're going to breathe in through your nose and bring the breath down to your belly. Stressful breathing happens up in the upper chest. And if you can make that awareness when you're stressed, oh my goodness, I'm breathing up here, you wanna push it down here. So take in a big deep breath through your nose and bring the breath down to your belly and imagine there's a balloon in your belly and you're filling it up with air. Like so. And see if you can hold the breath for one, two, three, four seconds, and then you're going to release it out of your mouth with an ocean breath. And I want you to release the breath, overextending the breath. Really, really important. So take another big deep breath in. Bring it down to your belly, balloon, and release it. Now there's another way to breathe. Place one arm over your rib and the other arm over your belly. And stressful breathing, remember, happens in the upper chest. So this allows you to hold and know where your breathing is happening in your body. So we're going to breathe into the belly. So take one deep breath in. So you feel your arm on your belly raising for a count of four. One, two, three, four. Then release the breath like an ocean breath. <sighs> and feel your arm lowering and see if you can extend the exhalation longer until you feel that deep pressure in your abdomen. <sighs> I highly recommend doing this breathing tool three to five times, especially at bedtime, in your bed when you're lying down. You are guaranteed to fall asleep faster by breathing this way in and out. Tool number two, river of thoughts. This is a tool for overthinking. We are doing so much of that right now because we have a lot to think about, but this will help you take a step down from overthinking so you can get out of your head and into your body. So accept these truths about your mind. You cannot control your mind. Your mind is highly suggestive. Don't believe everything your mind thinks. If I say to you right now, don't think of a white bear. Go! See, you cannot stop thinking of a white bear. The more you tell yourself not to think about it, the more you do. This is how our minds work. So the more we resist thoughts, the more they will persist. This is mindfulness. So the goal is to learn how to be with the mind and be what's called a witness. So today we are going to do a visualization which you can practice to slow down your thought process and go with the flow. So be somewhere where you are comfortable and free of distractions. Take a deep breath in. Let out an ocean breath. Close your eyes and follow this guided visualization. I want you to imagine that you are in a boat. You are in a boat floating down a river. The river is calm. The river is peaceful. Then such as in life, the river begins to change. It becomes increasingly narrow, increasingly choppy, messy, organized, disorganized, and eventually becomes a roaring rapid river that won't stop. You look off to the side to see what is causing this rapid river, and you are amazed to see all of your thoughts swirling around in there, 
all of your negative thoughts, your worried thoughts, your repeating thoughts, your self-deprecating thoughts. They're all in there around you. And there's nothing you can do about it. All of your negative thoughts, your worried thoughts, your repeating thoughts, your self-deprecating thoughts, your overwhelming thoughts will not go away. You are in the thick of it. And you realize you can't do anything about it. And it feels like there is no end in sight because it's exhausting, I know. But you look up and you see in the distance a white sandy beach and it looks amazing. You want to go there and rest so you become determined to get on that beach. You find an oar in your boat. You push the water with all your might. This is your strength. You push and push until you finally get your boat onto that white sandy shore. You feel your feet in the sand and you're so grateful you've made it, you've landed, but you are utterly exhausted. You hear behind you the roaring rapid river that keeps going and going, like in your mind. You let out a sigh of relief that you have finally made it out of there. And you look ahead of you and you see ahead of you, there's a chair. And alongside that chair, there is a table with a big fresh glass of water, a pitcher of water, and a comfy blanket. So you go sit down, grab the blanket, plop in the comfortable chair, drink a nice fresh glass of water. You extend your legs out around you and you let out another sigh of relief. And this time, I want you to overextend the exhalation. And as you're doing so, you tell yourself, you deserve this moment. <sighs> you deserve this moment. You deserve this moment of relief. And let out another extension of your exhalation. You take a look at the roaring rapid river that you just left. And you let out another overextended exhalation. <sighs> you look at the rapid river ahead of you in the distance and you remember that this river is filled with your thoughts. All those rushing thoughts, all those rushing thoughts the day in and the day out thoughts and and you can recognize now that you cannot control these thoughts you cannot control these thoughts you cannot just make them go away you can't you can't make them go away however you can recognize now that they are just thoughts and you can watch them be a witness to them and let them pass you by you understand and accept now. You understand and accept now that they are mere thoughts. And you don't have to believe everything you think. Because remember, the mind is highly suggestive. There will always be negative thoughts that we have no control of. And we can choose to bring in new thoughts. Thoughts we want to think about and suggest new ones. Just like we learned 2 plus 2 is 4 over and over and over again, you will need to learn to practice over and over and over again by creating new thoughts, a new thought process. So here are some ideas. I can find calm amidst my river of thoughts. I can find peace and rest when I am with my thoughts and they are overwhelming. I can give myself permission, like so, to slow down. I can restore a new way of being with my own mind. I trust over time with practice these thoughts will pass me by. Each time I allow this process of being a witness to my thoughts, I become more empowered to move through my thoughts and not get stuck in them. The only control you have being a witness to your own mind 
to find refuge in your own body. Now you let out another sigh with a long extended exhalation of relief. You can stay here for another minute by repeating your breath in and out. And then you can slowly come back. Open your eyes to come back into your room with me now. Additionally, I recommend before doing this exercise, getting out a blank piece of paper. Draw a river as such and write down all the thoughts that you're thinking about and put the paper right in front of you during the exercise. You can also have a second piece of paper and write in the thoughts that you want to have and suggest to yourself that you are encouraging, being hopeful and supportive like such. You are having a rough time, but you'll make it through. You're strong. You can move through this pain. You're doing it and you're doing your best. You are your own best friend. You can find a still quiet place inside. You can do this. You can do this. Brain science has found that for every one negative thought, you can introduce two positive thoughts to help negate that thought and move through it better. So keep practicing. So tool number three, we're going to do tapping, finger tapping. So start by taking two fingers on each hand and you're going to tap gently on different parts of your body like this on top of your head on top of your eyebrows, on the side of your temple, on the upper cheeks, bones, on the upper lip, and on the chin. And repeat, on top of the head, above the eyebrows, side of the temple, above the cheekbones, on the upper lip, and on the chin. And repeat. So let's do this together. On top of the head, above the eyebrows, on the side of the temples, on the high cheekbones, on the upper lip, and on the chin. Now follow my words as you're tapping. I am patient. I am centered. I am powerful. I am worthy. I am learning. I am enough. I am patient. I am centered. I am powerful. I am worthy. I am learning. I am enough. One more time. I am patient. I am centered. I am powerful. I am worthy. I am learning. I am enough. One more time. I am patient. I am centered. I am powerful. I am worthy. I am learning. I am enough. Why is this helpful? Because it helps integrate the right and the left brain. You're integrating both hands and you're also tapping on pressure points in the mind and the body that will help regulate the nervous system. And we're also downloading into the body all these positive phrases that you do need right here, right now. Do this as many times as you need. It is very powerful. And if you feel emotions coming up as you're doing it, give yourself permission to release those emotions. All that emotional baggage that you're carrying inside so that you can release, refresh, and renew really, really important. Give yourself permission to release all the emotional baggage that you're carrying in your mind and in your body so you can release, refresh, and renew. In closing, use the tools that work for you. If it feels good, keep doing it. And practice by building what's called muscle memory so it becomes second nature. 
It's in your best interest to do these exercises, either at the start of your day or the end of your day or in between to support you throughout the day. Thank you for watching. If you like this video and you gained some insightful information, please like, share, subscribe for more videos. And I wish you happy therapy, doing therapy on yourself. So thank you and take care. Bye-bye.